Are you ready to bundle up in your favorite space-themed Christmas sweater and head to the outer reaches of the solar system? Well then you know it's the end of the fourth quarter and time for Star Citizen Alpha 3.8. Dive into a patch that doesn't look all that exciting on the roadmap but is actually filled with all sorts of goodies that will make playing an alpha version of a game still in development a little less frustrating. Start out straight away with a new option to select your starting location. Finally, you can wake up from your space dream somewhere other than Port Alisar when starting out. Now that you've chosen Port Alisar since it's the place you can most quickly get into space, let's spawn a ship and see what else we've got in store. Take off on a journey to the very edge of the Stanton system to visit the brand new icy planet of Microtech. But before you venture into its frigid atmosphere, make sure you admire the now fully realized interiors of the new stations added to the orbits of each main planet. Now you can set yourself to spawn in a station with equally quick access to the vacuum of space without having to get lost in the alleyways of Area 18 or suffocate with a bag on your head in Hurston. You can even venture into the beautiful unique shopping districts for each station and look at all the cool things you can't interact with yet. Swoop down from your orbiting platform into the frosty clouds of Microtech to check out the brand new planet and its capital city, New Babbage. Take in the majesty of frozen buildings and their ample existence as you set the countdown timer for 3.9 when the interiors are implemented for all the buildings. That's no problem though, the real glory of 3.8 is in the Planet Tech version 4 updates along with the addition of upgraded weather effects. Microtech is the feature planet for both of these with its lush snowy pine forests, rocky tundra, and even whimsical Disney-like fields of wildflowers fit for frolicking. Don't stay outside too long though because you might get lost in a giant realistically scaled snowstorm that totally blinds you. Before you lose your way and wander off a cliff, take note of the cool snow and ice buildup on your helmet visor and how it melts when you come inside. Neat! If you get tired of flying around looking at all the upgraded planet designs through the bobbing head of the nausea-inducing look-ahead system, you can take part in the brand new 890 Jump Rescue Mission. That's right, you can save a rich bastard's pleasure yacht in one of the first missions involving boarding a ship in space and doing first-person combat. Creep through the halls with your friends and blast some NPCs standing around waiting for death to earn extra money and save the day. If you're really feeling brave, you can even try out the new melee combat updates, including stabbing the sweet hell out of people and everyone's favorite pastime, punching dudes in the face. Why go around blasting people all day when you can just give them a right hook to the jaw and repeatedly stab their unconscious body? While there are other fun additions like an improved crime system including fines and a new ruggedly designed middle tier mining ship with the Argo Mole, most of the ships like the Carrick have been delayed for a mid-quarter patch. However, the biggest update of all is one you probably won't notice. It's everyone's favorite Christmas present, socks! That of course stands for server-side object container streaming. While this advanced process doesn't have a lot to show off, it's actually foundational technology that reduces server load and allows for the game to get ever more expansive and complex. Now CIG can add new content without needing most of the server memory and processing power on the planet to keep it running. For all intents and purposes, it's magic that makes the game work better. Magic Socks. Star Citizen Alpha 3.8. Giving you a white Christmas no matter where you are as long as you're on Microtech. Well, that's it for 2019 Star Citizen updates. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos on the game for more hot takes on each patch and what may or may not actually be in them.